had a friend, he came to me, he was the Kelly's friend, he came to me, he told me, I have someone really special to introduce you. And I was thinking, okay, so who is going to be this person so special like this? And and he came and he introduced me, Kelly. And yeah, he was right. Kelly was a really, he, she is a really special person. So, and I met her at the church. I met Kelly, let me remember, I had here in my ring in 2009. <laughs> I met Kelly. Oh, sorry. I married Kelly in 2009. After five months, I was dating her. I proposed to her. I proposed to marry her. And in her birthday, I took I took her to the one restaurant in São Paulo, where she really likes to go. But that day was really uh, busy, and I had the time to take her to the restaurant and I proposed her to marry me so after after five months after I, I met her so and we get married we got married in 2000, 2009 4th of July this is why we have fireworks for us every every year so and we started our, our family in 2009 uh, we have three kids so Isabel, Isabella, Yuri, and Bianca. Bianca, she is eight years old. Yuri, he's five years old, and Isabella, she is only three years old. Oh, Kelly, being a mom, she is the beautiful woman to be a mom for the kid, for my kids, for her kids. She was keeping forgetting herself to take care of all these kids. She was taking care of all these kids 24-7 and the whole time. So I really couldn't find a, a better person. Or for sure she found me, but I I I can't see another person like her. Mm -hmm. And taking care of all the kids, taking care of all our family. And one friend, he was moving to another city, and he came to me. And he told he came to me though. Know, he invited us to go to his apartment, just for the kids to play together, and just to say bye for them because they were moving. And we bought some pizza, and we went to that place. And Kelly was talking about her sister, her youngest sister. And. Clean, she was completely fine, and I was sitting beside her. I was, I remember that the last thing that I did, I gave to her, I gave her a slice of pizza. And I went to another, another room. And suddenly, her friend started yelling at me, "Junior, come here!" And Kelly was sitting on the bar stool at the kitchen in the living room. She was there. And I went back. It was a terrible, terrible image in my, in my in my mind that I can remember. She was laid on on the on the ground, and she was bleeding from here because she, <coughs> she I don't know when she fell on the floor when she fell on the floor something hit her and she was she was bleeding, and my kids was beside her. My kids was watching everything, and the kids was the kids was crying, and like a slow, a slow motion movie in my, in, I just can't remember like that. So I was watching her, my kids, and I, I went to her directly to her, and I start talking to her, and she was hardly breathing, she was hardly breathing, and she was bleeding. The kids was crying. And I was trying to talk to her, and I remember her eyes. Her eyes was like, please help me. I, I could see in her eyes, she was asking for help. And I was start talking to her, Kelly, stay with me. Kelly, stay with me. And she was, 
she was struggling with her breath and and I told my friend, hey, just call 911. She had some brain problem. So they took her to the hospital. And after a few minutes, the doctor came to me. He told me he, she had this the really severe uh, bleeding inside her brain. They told me, we are going to take her to to a special room to see what can we do for her and I was praying I was just asking for God please keep her keep her here and it was a terrible experience to remember she stayed at the hospital in November and December this happened to her in October 20, 28 and she stayed at the hospital until first January 1st. So in January, she went to the nursing home in Riverton. She stayed there for two months more. And in March, she came home. All the time, the Heavenly Father is providing angels for us. He's providing angels to take care of all Kelly. This is why Clint. I keep fighting for her. This is why when the doctor came to me, he told me, let her go. She's, gonna, she's never going to be the same person. He came to me one day, he told me, what are you, wait, what are you waiting for? You think your wife is going to awake someday and cook breakfast for you? This was the terrible thing to hear. He never, maybe he never thought what he was saying for me was not just about the moment. He was telling something for me for my entire life since that stuff happened, that accident happened to Kelly. And he came to me, he told me that word. But I told him, yes, I'm waiting for that day. I'm waiting for the day when she is awake. And she will fix breakfast for, for us. He told me, okay. And because all the connections that I told you before, all the things that Kelly told me about the person who was in coma, the miracle movies that sh she showed me, I keep fighting for her. The doctor told me, you, you, maybe you'll never have the financial, the financial, uh, money and oh, you never have them you never will have enough in money to support her and support your kids because it's gonna be so expensive and I told him doctor I don't know how but it's, I will keep fighting for her because I'm not seeing money here I'm seeing my wife I'm seeing my kids mom and I'm seeing a daughter for her fathers, for her parents. I'm seeing a sister here. We have a, a history. My life never started here, but I, we had something before. This is this is why I'm fighting for her. And I told he told me, it's gonna be a painful for you and for your kids. You need to move on. And I told him, and I can't move on without her. If she decides to go, it's okay, doctor. But if I can do, if I can fight for her, I will keep doing this. I don't know how. But like I said, every time when something is missing, when we don't have something, something, er, someone just brings something for us. Diapers, wipes, and all the stuff that we need. Even food sometimes, because like you know, I'm a student here, and sometimes we don't have everything, but since this happened to her, angel, angels are coming to this home. Thank you for watching the story about Kelly Pice. As you can see, the Pice family has many needs. Um, we would ask that you would include them in your prayers, 
And if you would like to donate to the Pice family to help with their great financial needs, whether those are medical supplies or, or other needs that they have, we would encourage you to, to press uh, the donate button at the bottom right of your screen and, and give whatever you feel comfortable giving. Thank you so much.